Albania's hosting of Berlin Process Summit, shaping the future of the Western Balkans in the EU. The Berlin Process and the European Union are gearing up for new memberships by the year 2030. Albania, for a brief day, had the honor of becoming the capital of Europe as it played host to the Berlin Process Summit. This event carries immense significance, not only for our nation, but for the entire region. It signifies the inevitable resurgence of the European Union's focus on the Western Balkans. This renewed attention comes at a critical juncture when the ongoing conflict in Ukraine presents new security challenges, and amidst Russia's attempts to sow instability in the region. Under the brilliant sunlight and under the scrutiny of European media cameras, Prime Minister Edi Rama welcomed leaders from the European Union, including those from neighboring nations. Later, they made their way to the pyramid, a structure originally erected in 1988 in honor of the dictator Enver Hoxha, who had derogatorily referred to these countries as revisionist imperialists. Today, however, the pyramid, having undergone a complete transformation, served as the venue for the Berlin Process Summit a gathering of leaders to deliberate on the European future of the Balkans. Some of you hail from the EU, while others, including myself, come from the E without the B. The E region faces numerous challenges, but for all of us representing Europe without the B, the most pressing political challenge is the stark division between EU member states and non-members. Within the Western Balkans Investment Plan, Investments carry significant weight, but only 10% of these funds take the form of grants, while the remaining 90% comprise loans. Furthermore, the mechanism for accessing these funds is antiquated and sluggish. Please understand, I'm not advocating for equal financial benefits for non-EU countries or a hastened membership process, emphasized Edi Rama, Prime Minister of Albania. Albania is renowned for its warm hospitality, a trait reaffirmed today. I vividly recall our gathering in Berlin last year, where we all concurred that the Berlin process is the most effective instrument not only for unlocking the full potential of regional collaboration, but also for expediting the integration of all Western Balkan nations into the EU. The Berlin process is a platform for cooperation when cooperation is more necessary than ever articulated Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany. We have laid robust foundations through our €30 billion Euro economic investment plan. Of this sum, €16 billion Euros have already been put to use. Our objective is to usher Western Balkan countries into the European market. However, opening doors alone won't suffice, the Western Balkan countries must also establish a shared regional market. It is a prerequisite that these countries offer access to their neighboring nations. If there are any impediments, it signifies that they are, in effect, obstructing their own progress, emphasized Ursula von der Leyen, president of the European Commission. In the EU, we need to be well prepared to welcome new members by the year 2030 for our expansion plans. I understand that this timeline has stirred some skepticism in your region due to a history of prolonged waiting. Eddie, you've humorously likened the expansion process to a bridegroom who never shows up at the wedding. Nevertheless, we are committed to making this wedding happen, stated Charles Michel, President of the Council of Europe. Shortly before enjoying a luncheon featuring, made in Albania, wine, and as one of the cornerstones of the Berlin process, fostering good neighborly relations was discussed. In a vibrant display of Balkan culture, young dancers showcased a diverse array of regional dances, 